Hmm, interesting. The sex, sexy papaya with my tongue. I love animals. Go vegan, everybody. Yeah. John Eric Sackars was born on the 27th of August 1970 in Niagara Falls, Canada. The oldest of four children, he enjoyed playing pranks on people as a youngster and playing the drums which he seemed to have a natural talent for. Interestingly, John had a real dislike for vegetables in his younger days and refused to eat them for many years. On the whole, John had a good upbringing but has stated that a member of his family had an alcohol problem and would become abusive, sometimes hitting John when they got drunk. This understandably has put John off of alcohol for life and he has only ever tried it once, which resulted in him vomiting in the Pizza Hut toilet where he was working as a dishwasher. With some of the things that we'll be looking at later, you would be forgiven for thinking that John has taken one too many acid tabs in his life, but this does not seem to be the case with John saying that he has never tried any drugs apart from the one time that he drank alcohol. While playing hockey as a child he was hit in the face with a stick and lost his front tooth and his grandma lost her leg due to gangrene with her party trick being to drink alcohol out of her prosthetic leg. John was a shy kid at school and would rarely talk. He would mostly focus on art, music and track and field. A reclusive child, John once pissed his pants in school and had to stand up and do spelling in front of a class with his pissy pants. In 1998, he went vegan after reading a book about how animals are treated in factory farms. John believes that because animals can't give consent, humans have no right to eat them or take the things that they produce, such as eggs or milk. In 2010, John started a YouTube channel, but this channel got deleted by YouTube for breach of community guidelines. So he set up another one in 2011, which he still uses to this day. So, we've reached a point in the video where things are going to get a little bit um, odd. We are about to watch some of John's YouTube videos. If you've never heard of John before, I'm not going to ruin the surprise by describing it for you. Just know that I'll be leaving this on your screen for an uncomfortably long time so that you can truly soak in the full glory of this moment. And just when you think it can't get any weirder, something new will pop up to make you reconsider what you think the word cringe means. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you John Sackars. Hello, John Sackars here, taking a bath. Yeah, that's right, I'm bare naked, sitting in the bathtub all by myself. Mmm, what a shame. I'd love to take a bath with you. You could help clean my back, and I could help clean your back. I'd be more than happy to help clean other parts of your body, too. Mmm. Oh, baby. But, right now I'm all by myself, and my tongue feels like cleaning something, so maybe I'll clean this. Papaya, this sexy, sexy papaya with my tongue. Mm. And while I'm licking this papaya, I'll fantasize that you, sexy vegan woman, are sitting on my face. Because that is my ultimate fantasy, to have a vegan woman sit on my face. Oh. Vegan vagina juice VBJ Vegan vagina juice VBJ Vegan vagina juice VBJ Vegan vagina juice VBJ People can call me a pervert People can say that I'm a disgrace But I'm not Afraid to tell the whole wide world that I want you to sit on my face. We can take our time, baby. Making love is not a race. I wanna get so drunk off your pussy that I feel like I'm in outer space. 
Vegan vagina juice, VBJ. Vegan vagina juice, VBJ. Vegan vagina juice, VBJ. Vegan vagina juice, VBJ. If you want to eat animals, I can't stop you, but you must know you are never gonna feel my tongue on your clit. Today, I would like to teach you how to play butt drums. I can make anybody wanna go vegan All I gotta do is move my body like this I was with a woman last night And she would not stop sucking my dick She said that my vegan dick Is the prettiest thing she's ever seen What is it about vegan dicks that is so great? Would you like to receive thanks from my vegan? It's a very special day today. It's a very special day today. Uh huh. Who's the motherfucking vegan birthday girl? You are. Who's the motherfucking vegan birthday girl? You. <laughs> so, how was that for you? Oh, I see. You were born on the internet, molded by it, and I have merely adopted the internet, so you've seen everything. Well, I'll take your unnecessary Batman quote and raise you this. Now, be a good girl and take your pants down for me, okay? That's it. Pull your pants down. Mmm... Okay, get nice and comfortable. Okay, now you're gonna pull your panties down for me, okay? So I can see that beautiful vegan vagina of yours. Oh, I'm gonna spread you open a little bit. Oh. You ready for me, baby? Are you ready for me? Hello, sexy vegan ladies. My name is John Sackars. I am a 40-year-old vegan superhero from Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. I have a receding hairline, which is very sexy because I can put some vegan massage oil on it and then rub my head on your body. I can rub it on your belly and make your tummy feel very good. I also have a removable tooth which can be very sexy for role-playing. For instance, you might have fantasies of having sex with an athlete, like a hockey player. Sometimes hockey players will lose a tooth when they get hit in the face with a puck. So I can give you a chance to live out your fantasies and have sex with multiple men. Here, I'll show you. See, now I look like a tough guy, like, like a redneck or a hockey player. And I can put on wigs. I have like six different wigs. And we can role play and have cool fantasies. Oops, got a little bit of food on here. Hmm. 
John has so much great stuff on his YouTube channel, it's honestly hard for me to pick which ones to use. He has been uploading since 2011 and has stayed dedicated to sharing his music with the world, so has many, many songs uploaded at this point. Regardless of what other people think, he clearly has a passion for music and gains a lot of enjoyment from uploading his songs, so good luck to him, and long may it continue as I enjoy watching them from time to time. I thought it may be interesting to read out the song lyrics to one of John's songs, so let's give that a try. This little gem is titled, I would do anything to get you to go vegan. <coughs> I would do anything to get you to go vegan. I would do anything to get you to stop eating the corpses and secretions of my animal friends. I'll try not to get too emotional. I don't want to get sappy. But if it would make you go vegan, I'd even hurt Mr. Happy. I would hit my prick with a stick. I would smash my cock with a rock. I would whip my thing with a string. I would choke my dong with a fong. I would torture my penis no matter how much it begs if it would stop you eating meat, dairy and eggs. I would poke my dinky with my pinky. I would burn my pita with a heater. I would stab my pee-pee with a teepee. I would bury my rod under a piece of sod. I would send my penis to Venus on a rocket ship. If it would stop you putting the corpses between your lips. I would stretch my boner round a corner. I'm guessing my accent makes that not rhyme. I would scare my post with a ghost. I would tickle my willy with a lily. I would throw a checker at my pecker. I would get Mr. Harry drunk off sherry if it would stop you consuming dairy. I would squish my middle leg with a beer keg if it would make you stop eating eggs. I'd attack my one-eyed snake with a rake if it would mean that you would stop eating steak. I would do nasty things to my genitals if it would stop you hurting animals. I would do anything to get you to go vegan. I would do anything to get you to go vegan. Don't make me hurt Mr. Happy. Don't make me hurt Mr. Happy. Go vegan, go vegan. Thank you. It's a very subtle song, so you may not have picked up on the themes, but most of it involves his genitals. And yeah, John seems to be pretty sexually frustrated, to be honest. A lot of his smash hits revolve around his desire for the fairer sex. Some people have a lot of sex, I do not. What does it feel like to fuck? I forgot it's been a long, long time since I got made. And when I get horny, I make love with my best friend. Yes, I am my best friend. Sex and veganism are the main themes of John's work, but he does have other songs about many other topics such as the alphabet, colours of the rainbow, and every now and again he'll drop songs about existential questions like What are we? Are we real? Is this a computer simulation? And is there any point to continuing to live a life in a butterfly's dream? You know, I guess he adds these songs to mix things up a bit. Eight years ago, a well-known YouTuber named H3H3 did a reaction video about John which propelled him into the public consciousness. This was a double-edged sword for John as it helped to spread his message, but maybe not in the way that he had hoped. Oh, God. Oh, my God. John! I think he's trying a little bit too hard, though. Are you, what are you trying to say with that green smoothie? Is that what vaginas are supposed to look like? Oozing with green shit? I think you've been going down a little bit too many vegan girls, dog. I think it's time to switch back if that's what you think vaginas are supposed to look like, man. John, I will go vegan if you post a video of you. John, I, he's probably gonna watch this, right? There's a chance. There's a chance John's gonna watch. John, if you're watching this, I will go vegan, dude. This is my promise right now. <laughs> if you post a video to Vimeo of you eating your own shit.
Since then, John has continued headfirst on his quest to spread the word about veganism and tell the world his longing for a vegan woman. John doesn't just do this on the internet though and actually lives the life he preaches, travelling the world to attend vegan protests and pretty much has devoted his whole life to stopping what he sees as animal cruelty. So no matter what you think about his message, you can't knock the man's commitment and drive to stand up for what he believes in. As you would expect, there are some other odd things that John has said over his time on the internet, so let's look at one of them. Like I said, I want to be an extraordinary person and be brave, so I have come out several times publicly with something I did when I was 13 years old with a family cat. We had a cat named Fluffy and she was adorable, black and white cat. And I was 13 years old, you know, who knows, I'm not justifying my actions, what I did was wrong, but uh, maybe hormones, uh, crazy teenager. I, so what I did was uh, the family cat, the, my parents went out and I was home alone and I put some maple syrup on the end of my penis and the cat licked a couple times. Don't worry John, we've all been there. Right guys? Um, uh, let's shame that freak. <laughs> Just to be clear, because people on the internet are dumb, that was a joke. I've never let a cat lick my private parts. I just f***ed it up the arse once I cut his head off the little <laughs> Again, that was a joke. I actually skinned the little f and used its skin as a condom to f*** his kittens. <laughs> oh God, what am I doing? Anyway, John has done a bit of nude modelling and he's pretty good at solving Rubik's Cubes. The internet tells me that John has done blackface, which I guess is some kind of Canadian tradition. Oh, Canadian political joke. I'm sure that's why you clicked on this video. And he also got in trouble for saying an unspeakable word that begins with the letter N. Take these things with a pinch of salt though, as I've been unable to find any proof to confirm these. And personally, I don't really care, but given John's political persuasions, it seemed relevant. And on that seamless transition, let's look at his political views. <laughs> Cisgender, I've, I've got, got privilege. I'm not disabled, I've, I've got, got privilege. Acknowledging that I've got privilege is the first step towards ending my privilege. Yes, I want to end my privilege. As you may have guessed, John is very far left in his political worldview. Myself, I'm not left or right, so I wouldn't normally bring this up in one of my videos as I just don't really care one way or the other. But this point seems to be an integral part of John's character. So let's look at some of the things that he thinks. Well, as with all other political and religious zealots, I'm sure you can guess most of the things that he thinks without me actually telling you. But mainly he dislikes capitalism, laying most of the world's ills on the capitalist's feet. F-U-C-K-C-A-P-I-T-A-L-I-S-M Spending your precious time being a wage slave Capitalism sucks Fuck capitalists Working 40 hours a week just to spend it all on bills Capitalism blows Fuck capitalism John dreams of a post-capitalist system where houses are given out for free and all jobs are done by volunteers. I'm not sure who would volunteer to work at the sewage treatment plant under this system, but I'm guessing an overwhelming abundance of male porn stars would appear. So you win some, you lose some, I guess. I'm sure it'll work out. John calls the USA and Canada Turtle Island as he does not recognise them as real countries and considers them stolen land from the American Indians. Some other little tidbits about John that are not super important, but I found interesting when building a full picture about him are that he hitchhiked from Canada to California and back to Canada over the course of two years. He spent six years couch surfing, never paying rent and only settled into the capitalist system of rent after his brother gave him a place to live. And he is an artist, which to be honest, he seems pretty good at. <coughs> when making these videos, I watch many hours of interviews and footage so that I can get a full picture of the person. Obviously, the videos I make need to be entertaining, so I just show you the more extreme and interesting stuff. But a thing that I noticed about John is that he seems to be a genuinely nice guy. For example, in interviews, when someone that he is talking to says something that dehumanizes the other side of the political spectrum, John very politely reminds them that even people that you don't agree with are living beings and all living beings are worthy of compassion, which I think is a very commendable thing. And if more people around the world had this attitude, the world would be a better place. That being said, I do think that John might be a little bit too nice. My personal view, which is no doubt wrong in all kinds of ways, is that men need to be caring and compassionate, but also savagely assertive. We are designed to protect the things that we love, and that protection can come in the form of sharing or confronting danger. As men, we must learn to tame our savage side, but never fully let go of it, because it might come in handy one day. 
I think that our ancestors have been so successful at taming the world that we have forgotten the nature of reality. Life on planet Earth is a never-ending cycle of self-consumption. Plants and animals die so that I can live, and one day I will die so that plants and animals can live. The underpinning mechanism of this reality is violence. Plants don't want to be eaten, and in fact do all they can to stop you from eating them. But because they don't have cute faces and big eyes, no one cares what a plant wants. People like John may see animals as friends, but it's not friendship that stops a hungry bear from eating you or a fox from stealing your baby and eating it. The reason that they don't do this is the fear of human violence. The exception to this rule being fruit, I guess, which does want to be eaten. I'm sure that most of us can agree that factory farms are horrendous things and I do sympathise with the inclination to become vegan. But the fact is that being alive means that you're going to impact other living things and being vegan is not going to change that. Pesticides sprayed on crops kill millions of insects. The harvesting of crops kill thousands of small mammals, birds and reptiles. Fungicides kill, well, fungus. And the fertilisers used to grow these crops degrade the soil and kill what lies beneath the ground. Is one cow's life worth more than a thousand? plants? Is one chicken's life worth more than a million insects? I have no idea about the answer to these questions by the way. Just thinking out loud I guess. Some people may see John as a weak naive little soy boy which may be true, but he has big enough vegan balls to show the world who he is and to stand up and fight for what he believes in. So maybe I did him an injustice earlier by calling him just a nice guy. His approach has a stupid idiot like me making a video about him and you watching it, so maybe he's smarter than he may first appear. I don't know. But one thing I do know is that he still makes weird songs and posts them to his channel, so let's wish him the best with his life. And hope that he finds himself a bucket full of vegan vagina juice. Well, I had fun playing around with seven different colours in this video, and I hope you liked it. Rainbows are awesome. We are all awesome. Every being everywhere is awesome. And so, let's make a world where all beings are happy, safe and free. Total liberation. Peace. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then watch this one about Severage, the king of the carnivores. It's pretty gross. And bye bye. I love eating bloody dead animals because I'm an ignorant meat eater.